let's take a look at how this works then and, and how I would recommend you get it set up. First of all, you'll have to download it. Uh, it is, so you'll need to be on a desktop. You do not have to use it on desktop. Once you've got this down and downloaded, you will be fine. Uh, the only time you'll ever have to use the PC version is when you add new stuff, okay? But uh, let's see how this works out. And I, in other words, when you get when you want to get into the community, let's say for instance, you know, I want to go on and look at a few cards. The problem is without the download version, this is all you're going to see. So Anki, Anki Web is where everything is really happening. By the way, the word Anki means memorization um, or memory memorization in Japanese. Um, so AnkiWeb.net, those where all the action happens. But in order to use it, in order to use your online account with it, and I can log in and, and it'll look like the way it should when I do so. Uh, but until I download it and I have a functional version of the software on my PC, I can't use it that way. So we download it, go down here, choose your version. If it's Windows, you know, Windows 7 through 11 looks like that's fine. You've got Mac, you've got Linux. Uh, these are the mobile devices. Again, though, you'll have to still get uh, these as like companions to a PC version. So you still have to download it to one of these PC OSs. And then you can talk, then then mobile is great. Then you can use the mobile for uh, the mobile app and so forth for that purpose. All right, so uh, I'll pretend like I'm gonna download it. Why not? I open it, I'm gonna put it in a file where I want it. I'll click save and then I'll want to install it. Let me just go on and do that. I'm gonna at least pretend like that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll save it here, at least in my browser. It's nice because it just comes up right here. So I'll go in and click on that and it'll open the program. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, I do. It's already running. Please close it then run the installer. Okay, so what you'll see, because I don't want to close it, I it takes, uh, you know, it's got a little bit of boot time, like maybe a few seconds, but just long enough. I don't want to waste the time. Uh, with you watching this. So uh, what you'll get is you'll get the prompts. You'll get the wizard, setup wizard, uh, and you'll install it. You'll be good to go. Once you've got it installed, you want to open it. And when you open it, it'll look like this. So let me downsize this a little bit. It'll look like this. Not just like this, because I've got a few decks in here. These are not my only decks, by the way. I have more than one Anki account. And so this is just one that I started using for other purposes. But it doesn't matter. You can see for our course, uh, in uh, Komiken Communicate Japanese that there's well already one here uh, just as, for demonstration purposes. I want to show how this works. So these are the decks. When you want to add, this is adding a, a flashcard to any one of these decks. So you can see a new little window opens up here and I choose the deck. I want to make sure it's in this deck. If I don't have a deck yet, I will want to add a deck or if I want to, I should start there really. If I want a new deck, I have to hit Create Deck. All right, and you can name it whatever you want, Japanese for Komi Can Communicator, KCC, whatever you want. All right, let's then add a flashcard. This is, by the way, the time when I would go, and if you watched the Language Reactor setup video and you watched how we got these scripts, this script from the whole show to, to uh, appear this way, this is what I would do now. I would use this copy and paste super fast way to get these in here or one one way that you can quickly get them in here uh wherefore art thou call me let's get that so i'm going to you'll notice i want to get all the romaji 2 in this case what i actually recommend doing is well i'll show you what happens so i'm going to paste it and so there it is in the front if i am first learning japanese i may want to keep these in there just to help me read it so do shite do shite anata anata this, uh, I will want to be aware that this actually says wa, not ha. Uh, this is not furumi, this is komi. So I may have to change a couple of things, but not too bad. Komi-san, na no, very good. And you'll have a hiragana, you'll have a kana chart for these purposes anyway. So you can use that to, to follow along and such. And the only thing is that wa is not always clear. Wa is a topic particle. We'll talk about that in grammar sometime. Uh, so you can copy and paste from these straight into here and I can copy my English and put that on the back. Now, 
if I want to, let's say I want to test myself, I know enough Japanese, I want to test myself uh, in kanji, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll just move each of these uh, down here. I'm doing this one-handedly. That was terrible. I'm doing this one-handedly, else this would be a lot faster. Uh, but whatever, so maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll just go on and type it as I know it actually appears in there. So komi-san. So this can be my the front of my card. And maybe for each episode, I'll just make a few of these, but they'll be super useful. Not that wherefore art thou komi is what you need. Um, yeah. Anyway, doshite anata wa. More useful phrases. Find useful phrases, and then you can put them in here. Doshite anata wa komi-san nana no. All right, and that way, what I've got here is I've got a way of also focus more. If I think that's where I want it. Oh, English definition. Uh, yeah, so if I'm testing myself on English, like if I can translate this or not, I'll put that there. Otherwise, it would be totally worth it to instead have that down here. I agree. So maybe in this case, what I'm doing is I'm uh, testing myself to see if I can even read that in the first place and then I'll get a different part of the card that tells me the English. So I might add some tags like useful phrase or something. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to do that this time around. If I wanted to, I could add, uh, I could add things like pictures and uh, audio and stuff. That could be really useful. But for now, we're going to just keep it simple. I'm going to hit add. And you'll notice it then goes and I can make a new card really fast and easily. It'll just go straight to a new card. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check out my stuff. I'm going to check out my cards. Actually, uh, this is how I start studying. So I don't want to just click on the deck. Let me go click on browse instead. And you, I get this really huge list. I just want to make sure my card got in there okay. So let me come down to decks. And you can see why people get a little bit, a little bit unnerved by this, by Comey. Uh, or by Komi, by Anki, uh, when they're still trying to get Japanese down and they're not sure uh, how to use interfaces like this, but it just takes a little bit of patience. So just be patient with yourself while you're figuring this out and send me messages or ask questions and, and you it, it, does, it won't take much to get the hang of this and then you'll be a pro. So there's my card, very cool. Except I'm not being tested on it right away. Um, maybe what I wanna do is I wanna prioritize this. I want this to be super important. Let's see, so reposition, starting position. I want this maybe to be my very first card and we'll do that. Change position of new card. All right, so I think that will have worked. So new number one, yeah, it's the very first card I think. So let's see how that work, went. So I'm gonna study now. There it is, there's my phrase. And I remembered, hopefully, doshite anata wa komi-san na no. Then I'm gonna click show answer. Notice this is telling me the blue over here tells me how many cards are left for me to go to. You can change how many you go through a day. Um, you can also edit this card whenever you want at any given point, which is kind of cool. If you see a mistake, then you can go in and edit it right away. This tells me how many I'm gonna go through today. I can change that somewhere. Somewhere else, uh, yeah, not here. Oh, record own voice? I didn't even see this before. That's awesome. Not that you're going to do that right now, but still, kind of cool. So, uh, show answer. Ah, I was right. So if I'm right and I feel good about that, I hit good. And this says then it'll show me one more time in a little less than 10 minutes from now as I go back through this deck, just in case. Um, or I can say, no, that was super easy. It won't show me it again for four days. So it will not show me this again. Every time I come back to this deck, it's not gonna show it to me again if I already know it. And then that four days will increase to farther and farther out. It'll eventually be months, four months, and then maybe even years before I ever have to revisit this card. Super excellent way that space repetition works. If it was hard for me, I need to review it sooner. If I just didn't get it at all, I need to, to review it again. And what if I also want to test myself on the English definition? Maybe this is not enough. Maybe I'm no longer testing myself on just the reading. Maybe I want I, I can read it just fine, but I need to remember what it said. And at least in the script of the show, it was wherefore art thou call me. So I now click on that. Ah, okay, now I know what that was. 
So I can test myself on multiple things. I can't do this on Quizlet. I cannot do this on Memorize. I can't do this without either getting a paid version with extra fields or, um, you know, I'm creating multiple cards, which is what I do sometimes for my classes who use it. But uh, this is way better because it's all on one card and I'm testing myself on what it is I really need to know, what I need to be tested on. I hit good and then it goes on to the next card. And you see this go, it went down by one and uh, it says, so the red number here now in the middle will indicate what, what one card or how many cards I'm going to review again before this session is over. And then when it finally goes to green, uh, I'm not gonna do all of them, so let's just say easy, easy, easy. I, you know, I was making this originally to, um, yeah, nice. I was making this originally for classes, but I ended up not using it. Keep going, keep going. Eventually, I need to see the card that I'm supposed to review again. So I've gotten through all of these. I don't have to review these again for days now. Whoops. Go on, go on. Let's say, let's just, just for the heck of it, let's say I hit again. Okay, see how that increased now to two? So now the rest of these are easy. Now I'm gonna run through the ones I missed. Oh, I know what that is now. Okay, good. Probably if I missed it last time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit good. Again, just to be sure I run through it one more time, I'll write those there, not the wakomi san no. Yeah, 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 and wherefore art thou komi? Okay, easy. And oh, one more time, this guy before I can wrap up. All right, I'm gonna say I'm good on this one. Maybe I'm still just a little unsure I'll remember it in the future, so I'll hit good for now, and, and they're not gonna make me do it again, okay? That's how that works. And if you did this every day, you would be spending so much less time trying to memorize and remember stuff uh, and you'd be using cool phrases. Now let me talk for a moment on this. You saw most of those cards that I flew through were, were particles and words and stuff. You can do it that way, but my biggest recommendation is to do whole phrases, preferably useful phrases. Some of this stuff should not be on screen. So, but uh, hopefully useful phrases. You know, you want phrases that are gonna be useful. So you want to copy over um, those phrases and try and memorize as much of those as possible. And you might be like, yeah, but what if I don't know all the individual words in there? Get used to the phrases, figure out what the individual words mean, but mostly memorize the phrase. And you'll notice those words will pop up in other places. Like if I did genzai, genzai bofu kei homo hatsure sarete orimasu, I may not ever see bofu or uh, probably see keiho, but bofu or hatsure again, ever but I will definitely see Genzai again many times. And I might even run across Keiho again, and I'll definitely see Sarete, Sarete imas, Sarete, Sareru, and Sarete orimas might even come up again. So there is always, always more that will show up and you'll get a sense of which ones are really important by how often they actually show up. I'll see Genzai so many more times after many, many of these cards and I'll be like, wow, this is such an important word to know and I'm getting so many repetitions of it, I'll definitely remember it. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, shoot me comments uh, or questions if you still need any help with this.